Hey guys, welcome to Beat the Backlog. So I have a quick project for us here. I am just going to be upgrading my Steam Deck. So I've got my guitar pick, my screwdriver, and my new SSD. This is a 512GB Keoxia that I bought off of eBay. Alright, well let's go ahead and get this started. I'm going to shut down my Steam Deck. And as soon as that shuts down, it'll take just a second here, I'm going to go ahead and pull out my SD card. Alright, two very simple steps, but two pretty pretty important steps, I'd say. Next thing we're going to do, oh, I got a little smudge on the back of my Steam Deck. I'm going to pull out all these screws. And I have a little tray right here I'll show you. It's just a little magnetic tray that I use to keep my screws in. They don't move, they don't roll. It's great. If you don't have anything like that, just use a bowl. Now, make note to take out that SD card. I've seen on Facebook, and I've seen on Reddit, and I've seen on YouTube where people have taken apart their Steam Decks to put in a new SSD like we're doing here, and they've snapped that card right in half. Um, I think one of the most, the best examples that you can go and see is Linus's just his general teardown on his Steam Deck. Okay, so I've got two screws right here. I wanna take a quick look at. The long ones go on the outside and the short ones go on the inside. Just remember that when we're wrapping this baby back up and putting it back together. I've got just a few more screws here that I'm gonna go ahead and pull out. All right, making sure I don't lose any of these because I don't wanna lose any screws. This Steam Deck's still relatively new. I've had it for a couple months. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and grab my guitar pick and I'm gonna pry at these corners. I'm just gonna start prying slowly, starting at one side and moving to the other. Now, my Steam Deck's a little bit easier to get apart because I've been in here before. The Steam Deck had a problem with the B button and I got in here and I followed that down. It's a pretty simple process, just take your time and try not to break anything. Okay, so this back little metal plate has to come off. Now, look at this, this is where I got in here last time and I lost track of what screws went where and I put the wrong screw right here. Luckily it had this little piece of um, metal tape here. I don't know what kind of tape this is but it had this little piece to keep it in place. And you're going to want to leave that on because when we close this back up we're going to have to put that tape back over that screw. I don't know what it does but if that's how it is that's how I want to leave it. Okay I'm going to go ahead and take out this top screw. Oh, lost that one. Let me grab my tweezers here. It's always nice to have a pair of tweezers, so if you need to grab something, you can, especially with these smaller screws. Um, I have a lot of trouble with them. And, oops, I forgot this bottom screw. Go ahead and slip that off. And then our little metal plate should go ahead and pop right off. All right, it's got some thermal pads right there. And this process is pretty simple. We're gonna take out this battery so we make sure we don't mess anything up. So just unplug that. And we're going to turn the power button on a couple times to make sure that there is no power left in the Steam Deck. All right, we're good. Next, we're gonna go ahead and pull out this NVMe drive. Oh, almost lost that screw. Got it, put it in our tray. Now you can see on our NVMe drive here, it has this little metal shield right here. It has this little metal shield. I'm gonna take that off. This is the old one, this is the new one. Pretty similar in size. Um, it should be exactly similar in size. And I just put this little metal casing, metal sleeve back on the new one. You can see I slipped that back on there. Sorry, I had to make a cut there, someone came in. And I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to put the little screw that goes back in here, so it has a little flat kind of screw on top so you'll know which one it is to keep this uh, SSD in. And that's all it really is, you just slip that back into the slot, we will slip our battery back in. It's a pretty simple process once you get in here. And my Steam Deck had a little light right there, I don't know what that is, uh, I don't remember that last time I opened this up. but. We're just throwing on this metal shield again. Making sure that sits right. I'm gonna go ahead and grab the right screw this time 
and screw it in. Make sure it screws in nice and tight, and it did. Put this tape back on. And then I'm going to put this top screw in. Just repeating the process backwards. Just the process that we used to take this apart. We're just doing it right back. Again, we're just playing it right back. And we're going to go ahead and put in this bottom screw. And that's about it. Once we got those in, it's time to put our back panel back on. Snap all those little snaps in place. And it feels pretty solid. Alright, I've got my long screws going in on the outside here. Now, if you're scared to do this, I do recommend picking up the 512GB model when you pre-order. But for most people, it's too late for that. A lot more people are getting their Steam Decks now, so I thought I would go ahead and throw up my version of this video. Uh, I know there are a ton, but I just kind of wanted to make it. It seemed like a fun thing for me, so it's, it's what I was going to do. Alright, I've got these last couple of long screws going in right here. Make sure that's nice and tight. Okay, now we're just going to go ahead and throw in these little screws in the middle. Valve did a really great job to make sure that this was pretty easy for the user to come in and upgrade this SSD. So for a lot of the people like me who bought the 64GB model, it is hard to find the 2230 size SSDs for a decent price, but it's, it's possible. I got mine for about $50, so it's not a very expensive upgrade, but I think it's one that's going to help out a lot of people. I'm going to make sure my little Steam Deck is clean and my desk is clean. Now we're going to go ahead and set up this USB drive. I've got Rufus here. I'll put the link for this in the description. Sorry you can't see it super well. I also have the little Steam Deck file. I forget what it is. It's just to make this USB to where we can boot off of it and put the OS back on the Steam Deck. All right. If you don't have a USB drive that has USB-C, you're going to want an adapter like this. And we just put it in and now we hold down the power button and we hold down the minus button. And as soon as you hear the chime, you're going to want to let go of that power button. Okay, now that this has started up, we are going to go ahead and just click this and we're going to go ahead and click proceed here. And this might take some time depending on your USB drive. Uh, for me, it took about 10 minutes. But as soon as that's done, we'll go ahead and click proceed. And once this finishes here, your Steam Deck will start up like it's a brand new Steam Deck. Like just like when you got it the first day. And there we go. Our Steam Deck is ready. You can go ahead and see here that I've got 460 gigabytes ready to go. And I want to check something real quick. So I haven't seen this on a lot of the upgrade videos, but this is something I wanted to check. If I go ahead and slot in my SD card, which was formatted with my Steam Deck originally before I put this new drive and reformatted it and everything. But it works if you put your SD card in after you do this, after you uh, reflash the Steam OS and everything, it should work just fine. All right, guys. Well, thanks for watching. Uh, I had a lot of fun making this video and I hope you enjoyed. Uh, like and subscribe. I'll see you later.